What's up everyone, photographer Ronis with it another tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you guys my color grading routine in Capture 121. So this is the latest version of Capture 1. I want to show you guys how I did color grade this image. I know I already posted this image on my Instagram. So I just want to show you guys how I do my routine for skin tone color grading in Capture 121. So this is the raw image as you can see and I'm just going to increase this. So you may be wondering why my interface is looking the way it is uh, in order to change it uh, to look like this like the Lightroom kind of interface or the camera row interface I came right here to window then I came to workspace and I came to migration so when you hit migration you're going to get everything on the right hand side of your screen so basically you can see this is the raw image so I first of all want to do the basic adjustments for my raw images so as usual I prefer to knock down my highlights and I prefer to also knock down my whites to regain back the details in the image. Then I prefer to add a little bit of blacks to the image. Then some clarity to around 6. Then after doing so, I prefer to push in my dehaze to around 2. Then I come to my levels and when I come to my levels, I make sure I turn, I turn on my exposure warning. So when I do that, I prefer to push in my blacks like that and also push in my whites like that so as you can see the image is now coming to life and I prefer to push in my exposure knock it down a little bit so you can see the image really has life right now so what I'm going to do remember when you're dealing with skin tones or color grading your image uh, when you're targeting skin tones you have to notice the colors in the overall image so if at all we don't have reds, greens, yellows, maybe in the model's clothing or maybe the surrounding, you can as well not create a new layer. But when you're dealing with skin tones, make sure you only want to target the skin tones, meaning you have to draw a mask or a layer mask onto the skin of the model you want to affect so that you don't affect her clothes or any other part of uh, the model's uh, surrounding or environment. So what you're going to do, you're going to come right here and right click and look for a new empty layer like that so after doing so we're just going to double click and we're going to name that layer skin tones so after doing so everything we're going to be applying on the model skin is going to be on this layer so we can adjust that later on or you can even turn down the opacity of this very layer so like in photo like in photoshop sorry so after doing so we're going to come and get uh, our draw mask tool and we draw a mask around the skin of the model and in order to do that i'm just going to increase this interface by holding down and dragging down like that so after getting your draw mask tool start drawing and you can hit m on the keyboard to start drawing a mask all around the skin so i may not be perfect but you really have to take your time while you're drawing the mask around the skin of the model so that you don't affect like her clothing or any other part and don't worry if at all you go into maybe the dress because you can always erase that out of uh, the dress or the clothing of the model so I'm just going to move this like that so basically I'm drawing a mask around the skin which we are going to be color grading uh, in just a few seconds to come. So you have to take your time while drawing this or doing this because you want to really get perfect results. But I'm doing this, I uh, just want to show you guys a rough picture of how I do my skin tone color grading routine in uh, Capture 121 to have those beautiful and amazing skin tones. So after outlining your mask is going to be easier for you to uh, paint around and just paint all over the skin you want to affect so when you start painting you're going to notice that it's going to be applying this kind of reddish color onto uh, the model's face so basically just come you can increase on the size of your draw mask tool by using the brackets on the keyboard sorry i forgot to mention that uh, before so just come and draw like that 
so uh, you have to be careful and apply it make sure the whole skin area is painted in like that so if at all you painted accidentally maybe on the cloth or you uh, left out some areas zoom in and just reduce on the size of your draw mask tool and you can uh, reduce and just paint over so you uh, for purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to be really precise with everything or my painting. And if at all you want to erase uh, an effect or you painted where you don't want, come and get your eraser tool. And you can just come and rub the mask from some particular areas you don't want to uh, really affect in the image. So you can come and get back your draw mask tool and draw like that so when you're done you can as well hit m on the keyboard to hide that mask so after doing so come right all the way down under your color editor we have color editor and color balance so come under color editor and select skin tone so when you do that come and get your color picker tool so when you get your color picker tool you have to zoom into your image and look for the area you want your overall image to look like. So for this case, you are going to go uh, with, let's go with this area right here on the nose area like that. So after doing so, you have sampled and when you sample, you're going to see the range of the colors you have sampled. They will be showing right here. And you can as well turn the view selected color range on to see what you have just sampled. You can see where we have sampled in the image. So you can turn this off and after that, after you have sampled on the skin, you can come to uniformity and you start pushing this slider towards uh, the right hand side, depending. So this is what I did basically for this image. So I moved this towards the right and also pumped up my saturation. Then after I turned up my lightness and Turn my, I turn this towards uh, the hues, towards my greens, and also knocked up my saturation. So after doing so, what I had to do, I came to this side, and I pushed up my oranges like that. So you can see that we are getting back those beautiful colors. Then I also came back to my levels since I started getting the skin. I pushed in my levels like that. Then I came right above here and also as well knocked in my highlights like this for the image and also knocked in my whites. So you can see what the color grading is doing to this image. Then I also came to my exposure and also knocked it uh, down like that a little bit. So you can see the beautiful colors we had uh, from the start and now what we have right now. You can see, if I turn on the before and after, you can see this was the image before. Before and, sorry, I don't know why I'm confusing this. So basically this was the image before and here we are right now, before, after. So if at all you feel like you're done with your color grading process, you can as well turn this on and off so you can see what you have done what you have done with the skin tones this was the be image uh, before and this is the after before after you can see how i managed to get these beautiful skin tones for this very model and if at all you feel like you have done too much on the skin tones make sure it is selected and come and knock down or reduce on the opacity of the overall skin tone layer so basically this is uh, my skin tone color grading routine for capture 121 and if at all you love this story don't forget to like this video drop a comment in the comment section if at all you have learned or loved uh, the content from this very tutorial i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating